Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have our official Festival of Football car design that was released yesterday on the loading screen. There's actually two car designs. I want to talk about why that is and talk about why we might have some new live items coming into FIFA and some, I guess, theories around what those items may be. Also, Team of the Season Rewards Day, Ultimate Team of the Season Rewards. And of course, yesterday with the re-release of the 88 Plus and the 90 Plus Tots Packs, we have got fodder moving on the market. We have some cards going downwards before rewards. And I also want to talk a bit about maybe a weekend league rewards market rise and maybe are people just saving packs for uh, the promo that's going to be coming on Friday. I don't really know. I think it's going to be a mix of both. So we'll talk through that a little bit today as well. But first things first, we got some more information about Festival of Football. And man, we were joking on stream earlier today that when I saw this car design, I actually put on sunglasses or shades because, I mean, this car design is just so bright. I mean, they chose literally the two brightest colors they could have, bright yellow, bright green, and they just put it into one car design. And we have this whole loading screen here with like all the other colors under the rainbow and they chose just two. It almost makes the car design look a bit two dimensional because it's just two colors um, with a little bit of black outlining thrown in there too. But I don't know why they did that, but it looks interesting, right? The design part looks really cool. Um, and I'm curious to see how players look on it with the dynamic images and such. But what does this card mean, right? Well, I think we had a little bit of an inside insight into that because they released a second loading screen which is the one that we see now as you load into fifa and it shows you the same exact card but with two upward arrows on the top and we know what this two little upro upward arrows means that means some sort of like upgrade boosted card or basically it tells us that we're getting some sort of new live item uh released on friday now there's a lot of theories i'm going to talk about today whether this is like a card that's going to be in packs and it's going to be like the what if promo where cards upgrade based off of scenarios or maybe based off of how they perform in the tournament. Or this could be basically just a Euro version of Showdown SBCs. So I'm going to kind of take us down two different roads. I think those are the most likely scenarios with these cards right here. So first things first, what are other cards in FIFA that have those two arrows at the top? Well, I got one in my team that I can show you, and that is this man right here, Mr. Neres, right? He's got the two arrows on top because this is a showdown item that was upgrade, right? Upgraded. He only got a plus one, but when these showdown cards get a plus one or a plus two, the little arrows at the top, they activate to be a light green instead of just being kind of dark and um, I guess black is what the color they are when they're not upgraded. Same thing with Regulon and these what-if cards. The arrows are kind of dark and not there. Then they get upgraded and boom, now they're white up in the top of the card. So I think with those arrows right there, that means to me that I don't, I know some people are saying these could be road to the final items. They could be live items that like upgrade um, over, over time, over the course of a tournament. But I really feel like this is going to be a one-time upgrade. Um, you know, I'm really leaning towards the fact that these cards would be basically the exact same as the showdown cards. I don't even know if these are going to be like what if pluses, but that's kind of the two things that it could be. Maybe they're releasing these festival football cards into packs. And hey, if a team gets past this stage, then boom, they get an upgrade. Or if they get out of match day uh, and get to the, the, you know, out of the group stages and get to the knockout rounds or whatever, um, then they get the upgrade. Or I really feel like what it could be is literally just a festival football card for showdown SBCs. And we, okay, so if that's the thing, right? Let's just kind of, again, take you down this road. If it's just literally another card design for showdown SBCs, then that for me wouldn't, I wouldn't think there would be new players in packs this Friday. Now, with a whole card design, usually when they release a card design like that on a loading screen, usually it means there's cards in packs though. So that's the other, I guess, thing in my mind is saying, hey, it might be more of like, a what if promo where we had cards that had to complete objectives to get upgraded. So it's kind of a combination of those two things, in my opinion, on what we could be seeing on Friday. But regardless, this is our car design. They released it to us and uh, it's very interesting, right? So some people are looking at this and saying, hey, since there's those arrows at the top, could be like a road to the final. I guess, yes, you could say so, but road to the final in, you know, the Champions League and Europa League and FIFA, those cards don't have the arrows. So the arrows usually signify a one-time permanent upgrade. Uh, with the what-if cards, that's a one-time permanent upgrade. And the same thing with the showdown cards, it's a one-time kind of boosted upgrade too. So that's the kind of update or upgrade I would be expecting for whatever kind of festival football cards, however these are going to be put out. But I kind of wanted to talk you through those two scenarios right there, whether they're just SBCs or whether it's cards that are in packs that have objectives or whatever. 
to upgrade. But again, this is like how many times have we had live items this year in FIFA? This is like the year of live items, right? What if for the first time ever, you know, we have headliners, of course, we got ones to watches, the showdown cards are technically kind of like live items that upgrade. You've got road to the final. So we have more and more live items coming out and a brand new one with these festival of football cards. So I'm very curious to see how that is played out and how that is played through with the content on Friday. Now, let's talk about the market a little bit too, right? Because let's say that this is an like SBC-based promo um, and that card design is there because they're gonna be releasing SBCs and uh, players in that manner. We saw Fodder take a jump yesterday. 84s were high, right? They took a jump right when the 88 plus and the 90 plus were released for a second time. And now they have dropped down low into rewards. This happens almost every Wednesday into Thursday morning because you see people say, oh my goodness, pack supplies coming. I got to sell my card. So right now you're looking at 84s back down in the five range. You're looking at 85s in the 10K range. Now this is not like super duper low, um, but hey, if you think this is going to be an SBC promo and if you want to speculate that much um, and that you don't think there's going to be a lot of lightning rounds or packs opened on Friday for what these loading screens may say as a new festival of football, sort of Euros, Copa America content, uh, then maybe you're watching SBC fodder today during rewards because there's probably going to be another little bit of a dip and prices are going to go even lower during rewards, especially on bid. I mean, yes, when rewards come out today, there might be some people going out and buying those cards to finish up an 88 plus or a 90 plus team of the season player, maybe to finish Usman Dembele or, you know, any of the SBCs that are still active that have been released this week, like Tevez, again, Dembele, he expires tomorrow, and Javi Martinez, all this stuff expires on Friday. So you might have a few people that are going to craft these SBCs um, after rewards, which could make fodder go up a little bit after weekend league rewards. Um, but that's something you could keep an eye on. I mean, again, in the long run, these cards right now are still pretty cheap. Under 6,000 coins for 84s when they peak multiple times above 10,000 coins this year. I mean, even, even yesterday and today, there were some 84s that were hitting 10K, uh, especially if you list for lazies. I sold some 84s at 10K today too. So if you think that the promo is going to be SBC based, then maybe you, you would want to get in on those fodder cards earlier. But if you think the promo is going to be pack based and you think there's going to be cards in packs based off of this loading screen and cards being shown on the front, um, then maybe you're waiting until tomorrow, like Friday, I guess, because you're thinking lightning rounds, you're thinking more supply for the market there. And I guess we could get some more information on the loading screen today. Like if they showed players on the loading screen, if they hinted positions, if they hinted uh, stats, or you know nations or anything like that, then that would kind of make us think that it's gonna be sort of a pack promo and not more of an SBC based promo. And then you would say, all right, I kinda of wanna wait on the fodder until Friday with the lightning rounds and stuff like that. So the one thing we're kind of still waiting on too is the guaranteed ultimate tots SBC. And a lot of people are like, Ayo, where is that at? Now we don't have any code dropped for that still in this game. We do not have an ultimate tots SBC added to the code. If that were to be added, uh, then it could be dropped today. If they dropped it like early today on Thursday into the daytime, then that would maybe make fodder go up even more. Of, of course, some of the higher rated fodder too, because that should be an 88 or an 89 rated squad if it were to be released. Now, again, last year, uh, I don't think we've talked about this too much because I didn't expect it to happen this way again, uh, but they released, I believe, the Ultimate Tots Guaranteed SBC after ultimate team of the season had technically ended like ultimate tots ended on friday summer heat started then they released the ultimate tots sbc on saturday the day after that so uh that has me very curious as maybe that's going to happen again today so just watch of course for the code and see if that is released and when that code if that code does drop then i do think you're going to see some people go out and start to buy up some of those cards the sbc fodder because yes they have dropped a little bit lower um and it's very interesting to see the people that have invested in that stuff kind of sell off. Now, if you're somebody who's like, yo, do I need to sell my SBC fodder? I have not. I really have not. I've listed more of it up today and I've gotten some more lazy sales. But that's what I would I would say to do. I mean, I sold this Parejo. This guy Parejo, I'm pretty sure, is like 13,000 coins right now. I just lazy, lazy sold him for 20,000 coins, right? Erickson, I sold at 16K. He shows on Footbin as like 12K. Uh, Digne is like a 7k card. I'm selling him at 10. So the same thing with Pogba, right? Pogba shows on Footbin as like 19k, sold this at 24. So all I'm saying is list your cards up for lazies. There's people out there doing SBCs and you know they don't take the time to search for the actual lowest price. They just go and buy the card and you'll be surprised how many lazy sales that you do get. Now let's focus on weekend league rewards today, right? Because again, 
you have a lot of coins coming onto the market today with this ultimate team of the season being in reds and being in tradable 100k and or sorry not 100k top 200 and uh elite packs right a lot of supply today now i want to talk about this because last year during ultimate tots rewards it was very easy to see since this team is so small and they made it only 15 players and you have a lot of those like three player packs and a lot of those you know uh, to 11 player packs being open today for tradable elite plus rewards what you're going to see is a lot of the low tier cards are going to get packed like crazy because obviously they're not going to be handing out a lot of ronaldo's messi's you know mbappe's Lewandowski's and stuff like that cancelo i think takes a drop today i think devry oblak we're going to be sick of them right because everybody's going to be seeing devry and oblak in their packs now if you see oblak it's like okay almost you know a lot of tots could be behind him still but you know, a lot of Kane, Oblak, De Vry, or the Fridge, as people call him, and Cancelo today from rewards, in my opinion. Now, the, some of the higher tier cards like Ronaldo, Messi, you know, these guys are going to get packed a little bit, right? You're going to see some crazy, crazy lucky people today. They're going to open their uh, top 100 packs, and, you know, inside of it, there's going to be Mbappe and Ronaldo, or Mbappe and Ronaldo and Messi, and it's going to be like, OMG, this guy just made like 15 16 million coins right that's there's going to be crazy amounts of coins made on part of the market today so that in my mind does make me think that you might have some cards um just very popular team of the seasons like maybe this neymar who right now is at like 10 million coins he's actually up from where he was this guy might go higher today you might have some also some higher tier icons like i keep looking at this 94 r9 i mean this guy is low 5.3 mil he's been 5.1 to 5.2 at some points this week i feel like this 94 r9 he's dropped off a lot he could rebound back a little bit even some of your icon moments potentially as well maybe like a hullet maybe a cruyff some of these guys you might see more sales on them today because some of those you know elite plus level players are going to have Big time money, big time money to go out on the market and to buy some of these cards and, uh, you know, spend some coins, right? So that's one thing. I do think some of the market's going to, you know, uptick today. Now, I think people also are going to be like, uh, well, Nate, should are people saving uh, packs for the new promo that's coming out on Friday, tomorrow? And, you know, some people might be because I feel like people have seen how the pack weight for Summer Heat is just, not Summer Heat, sorry, for Ultimate Team of the Season has just not been that good. And some people might be seeing that and saying, I'm just going to hold my packs. I'm not going to spend any coins this week uh, or open my packs and just wait until Friday. So I feel like there's a slight risk of that. Um, and I'm not expecting a huge market rise today, but I think a lot of people who did Usman Dembele, you know, uh, trying to link those kind of cards together and even some cards. Wow. Like this Jordi Alba 328. I bought one at 330 today. Like that's really low. I'm going to pick this up. And that's another one because again, that's a card that rose up a lot last week. You know, we have links to Usman if you're playing him off cam or if you're playing Jordi Alba off cam. And still, I mean, from red picks today, I think you're going to have a decent amount of people that get a guy like Cancelo, get a guy uh, like Harry Kane even, maybe even a Kimmich or a, a Teo Hernandez possibly. I think some of these Ultimate Tots cards, quick note, I think some of these cards will take a dip at rewards and then go up. Like people want to buy Teo Hernandez, right? This is a, a, one of the top tier left backs in the game. 550k right now on the PlayStation. I would not be surprised if a card like this uh, goes up after rewards today. It goes down for a bit and then goes up. So I know stuff like that. And then also what I was mentioning with like the Cancelo and all those cards being packed a lot. You know, you might see somebody like Ruben Diaz, who I think is being a little bit overinvested in potentially right now. Uh, 264, 270. He was 250 earlier in the week. Uh, but a lot of people getting a guy like Cancelo today. Actually, this Ruben Diaz is a pretty pretty sizable undercut. There's a 280 and a 264. But, you know, I'm not going to really involve myself with this guy because I think a lot of people are expecting Cancelo to be packed. And yeah, this guy might go up. But you know what? I'm going to try to put myself in some other areas of the market where people might not be buying as many cards uh, and just see if that kind of works out well today too because I don't want to I don't want to be in a place that I feel like is over invested so like this Kingsley Coman was interesting he was 300k flat earlier today I think that was a really good price for this card he could rebound with those French links uh, of, again with the Usman being out and that kind of being a hype SBC so I'm kind of looking at some icons not necessarily all French icons, but just, just cards that dropped off a lot from last week. Like this Roberto Carlos was 560K on the weekend. I got one at 438 or something like that earlier today. That was a big W. Uh, this Pushkas, 
Wow, it's 465. Is that going to go on bid? Because I would gladly pick that up on bid for 465 literally right now because I think this is going to be 540K tomorrow. This Eto was like 485. He's back up to 550. Um, you know, even some of your Argentine links might do pretty good. Zanetti's cards. I know I'm kind of watching like Maradona as well. I've kind of spent all my coins to be honest with you. But, you know, guys that did Tevez, and maybe they're trying to play with Chan Calais and some of those other cards. You know, this Maradona is up 100,000 coins. He might keep going. And that's one thing I want to point out as well. These cards are going to fall behind the radar today. Uh, these guys are going to kind of fall behind the radar. Like, look at this right here. Chan Calais is 246,000 coins. If this is a card that you guys want for your team, 100% start watching this item because he is dropping, of course, from where he was. Um, and I think there's potential that uh, this guy gets supplied at rewards and then bounces up big time afterwards because a lot of people are linking him to Tevez. So that's one thing I'd keep a watch out for for sure. And I'm going to be in a little bit, bit of a bidding war here with this Pushkas probably because some other smart trader was watching this guy expire as well. So as you can tell, I'm watching a lot of icons because I like the rarity for the mids and the baby icons. I talk about that a lot. So, you know, just trying to find some undercuts, try some find some open bids and deals tonight on just really rare cards that I think could go up. But again, focus on the meta stuff. And again, just look at some cards that rose last week, like that Jordi Alba. He is one that rose pretty much last week. I know there's Teo Hernandez in the team, but I don't think that's going to affect the Jordi Alba price that much. Uh, they're, they're pretty different price ranges. And um, also very, very different links. So those are my thoughts on that. I do think you will see the market rise a little bit today. Um, uh, but again, I think the fodder part of the market's interesting for me. And I'm very curious to see what happens with, um, you know, people maybe not opening their packs because of the promos tomorrow. But I, you know, if I were you guys, I wouldn't not open your packs. I would still open them. And I still got a good deal in this, on this push guy. So I'm happy about that. I'll be able to sell that well above 500 K surely. Uh, tomorrow. So happy about that one for sure. That's a GG. If it lets me exit there, boom, there we go. So I think that's the video for today, boys, to be completely honest with you. Hopefully we get some pack code added for the ultimate tots guaranteed. That would be like a last splash of hype um, for the day today for ultimate team of the season. But of course, good luck for your guys as reds. I hope you all get some sort of crazy card in your red picks today. I've got silver one rewards, so we'll see if silver one can be OP for us yet again. But if you have any questions or you have some ideas about what you think this new promo is going to be, drop them down below in the comments for sure, because that's going to be a lot of the hype and a lot of the questioning over the next day or so is what in the world is this promo going to look like and what is it going to be? So hopefully we get some more information on a loading screen about that today as well. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.